The federal government says education and dialogue are key components in countering violent extremism in the country. But the government says it will effectively ensure the menace is dealt with. That is why the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development is organizing a capacity building for staff of the ministry. Moyo Thomas has more. After several years of deploying kinetic measures to tackle insecurity and violent extremism, the Nigerian government has recognized the need for a broader policy framework. The framework is expected to provide direction and coordination for both kinetic and non-kinetic policies. The United Nations in 2016 also helped on the need for a holistic security approach that addresses conditions which drive individuals to radicalize and join violent extremists. The Office of the National Security Advisor identified molding beliefs, education, dialogue and other strategic forms of communication as necessary to prevent violent extremism. Whatever we do to counter the narratives which they put out there, their own beliefs, what they want you to believe, whatever message you put out to counter it or give an alternative to their audience is what we call strategic communication. And that is the greater part of our, our activity. By promoting historical awareness and values of citizenship and civic participation, the education system can help young people resist violent extremism. Two, by developing the critical thinking skills of young people, the education system can make them more resilient to violent extremism. The United Nations has provision to support member states regional bodies and communities. So in your planning, you should be able to assess the regional coordination, coordinator for the United Nations in Nigeria. These are the things we are planning to do that has to do with PVE. With the increasing number of out-of-school children in Nigeria and dwindling economic fortunes, Nigeria has a lot to contend with to realize its goal of using education and dialogue to cause a shift in mindsets. Moya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja.